Welcome. Today we're going to discover how to migrate a database to NetApp Storage using Snap Center for the SQL Server plugin. This image gives an idea of the typical topology of a Snap Center deployment. The SQL Server plugin can be deployed through a Snap Center server without remoting to SQL Server hosts. Snap Center will then manage backup, restore, and cloning of SQL Server databases. Here's a look at the workflow you'll see in the following demonstration. Let's begin. From SQL Server Management Studio, we can see that our instance, SQL QA, contains a single database, AdventureWorks 2014. This database is currently residing on non-NetApp storage, not in any sort of protected storage environment. Thus, in its current state, we cannot protect the resource using NetApp snapshots. Before beginning, the necessary hosts, correlating storage systems, and the volumes that will contain our database lens must all be added and configured for Snap Center to interact with. If we log into our Snap Center server, we'll first provision the lens that will be used to contain our database. Under the Hosts page, navigate to the Disks tab and select the target host. Before we can create our database lens, the containing volumes must have already been created from within on command system manager or through the commandlets with a size greater than that of the lens. Assuming the volume has already been created, we can select the new icon to create our new lens with the name of SQL QA data. Disk type will be left as dedicated. We'll assign a mount point of C MS SQL data, and give the LUN a size of 8 gigabytes. From the map LUN portion of the disk creation, select the proper host initiator for your environment, either Fiber Channel or iSCSI, and then the following IQN address to map your LUN. We will allow Snap Center to create a new iGroup for this initiator. Select Finish to complete this disk creation. We'll repeat this process once more for the log LUN using the same settings as before, changing only the name of the parent volume. Now that both of our disks have been created, we can begin migrating. Under the Resources page, we can see that the AdventureWorks 2014 database residing on SQL QA has the status of Not Available for Backup. By expanding on this resource, we are given the option to migrate the database in the top right corner. Now, select the corresponding data and log paths for the LUNs previously created. We'll skip the database consistency check and select Finish to begin the migration. In the monitor page, we can view the progress of the job as it's being performed. Upon returning to the resources page after completion, we can see that the overall status of our AdventureWorks 2014 has changed to not protected. From here, we can now expand upon this resource and continue to apply policies to protect our database. Thank you for watching. Please look for more videos on how to backup, restore, and clone databases using Snap Center with the SQL Server plugin.